This boy, this fucking emerald-eyed, golden-haired angel has been the glue that has kept me to the rest of the show for so long. And that's not to say I come to watch Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Cat Noir for the purpose of seeing Adrian aggressed on that giant screen in my living room. However, if it weren't for him, the show would have fallen into the depths of my forgetful mind long ago. This lad is the catalyst, no not that catalyst, that keeps this show going. His character is in a perfect balance of incompetence, intelligence, and innocence. Like a fragile ecosystem, if this balance is disturbed, what would follow suit is a catastrophic devastation to the rest of this world that has been built. A main character, not necessarily. The center of the story, however, absolutely. If Adrian was not part of this show, it would have no reason to exist. Everything happens because of him. Hawkmoth fights not for money, or power, or fame. But so he and his son may see his fair Emily once again. Everything Chloe does to annoy the characters around her and the audience watching her, sometimes to devastating effect, is done to win over the affection of Adrian. Every flounder and fall of Marinette's is a result of her inability to manifest her undying love for the boy. Many a fan-created comic exists of Cat Noir feeling underappreciated in the eyes of Parisians. Ladybug may not even need him. She's so fantastically skilled, nothing can stand in her way in the face of danger. The irony of it all, all his fawning fans despite none knowing of his superheroism. And the boy will never know that, despite Ladybug being the titular character here, the world does, in fact, revolve around him. Okay, poetic writing aside, I find this dynamic in this show amazing, and it's all because of Adrian. I've heard so many fans of this show complaining that Adrian is oblivious to everything that Marinette throws at him, but if this wasn't the case, and they both started dating after the first season, the show would have nearly no overarching conflict to keep it going. Like I said in my review, the superheroes are just a backdrop to a love story. And yeah, Adrian is oblivious to everything Marinette does. Why? Because he's a teenage boy! And I can tell you from past experience that teenage boys are stupid and blind when it comes to romance. Boys aren't ignoring you, they're just really bad at picking up your hints. And while we're on this topic, I need to include that girls of the same age are horrible at instigating a relationship like this. When showing signs and dropping hints doesn't consist of actually walking up to a person and talking to them, you need to rethink your approach. Let me give a lesson to everyone watching who's still in high school. For the girls, move it or lose it! He's not gonna know that you like him if all you're doing is looking at him from across the classroom. Suck it up and make the first move or someone else will. And for the boys, open your damn eyes! There are more girls who like you than you think, and like I said, they're probably all god-awful at making this clear. I wish I could scream into my TV when I'm watching Miraculous Ladybug, but at the same time I don't. If the delicate balance that is Adrian is touched, the show would have a dramatic shift. For some people, that's what they want, that's what they're waiting for. Something to shake up the story, maybe that's what the show needs, but the dynamic of the love square has been so cemented as being synonymous with the show itself. I don't know how I'd react to it. I would likely be fine with a big change in the show. The Love Square dynamic has lived on for three seasons now, and the end of season three seemed to promise something new. A love hexagon, perhaps? Actually, what is this shape? It's like crisscrossing all over. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that for these past three seasons, Adrian has been the center of the story. Not Marinette, not Ladybug, not Hawk Moth, and not even Cat Noir. Almost everything that happens is somehow because of him, and for that, I appreciate Adrian. Also, if he was real and I was a teenage girl, I would totally have a huge crush on him. Okay, bye!